bitch and let her cry. It's like, it's like she's not in the skirt. <laughs> I was really worried because I knew it would kill her. I mean, she's already dead, but it would really kill her if it was lost. Ever since she was first diagnosed with cancer, my mom had been asking me to do two things. She wanted me to spend weekends with her, going through all her stuff. And she asked me to lose 50 pounds while she was alive so she could die knowing I was healthy. And I didn't do either. Why give her all that peace of mind and license to detach? She might use it. We're gonna sit Shiva. We're gonna do a really good job. We will all say Kaddish, and I promise I'm gonna do it for a year at that place that has shul for me way too many hours. Then that, that way I'll walk with you every morning. Right. A power you'll, walk to shul. You'll walk to uh, shul and you'll lose weight. That's not going to be your last words to me, right? No. <laughs> Do you think this would be a real drag to see on someone's wall an unfinished clock? Yeah. This is like this amazing time capsule. So do I take it apart? Or, you know, do I keep it? Please do not live among a bunch of dead people artifacts. This is not an archaeological dig, it's your life. I miss her. I miss her voice, her looks, her skinless chicken, her long pregnant pauses. The umbilical cord. <laughs> oh, the headphones. It was hard to accept that my mother would never get to see me as a mother. Well, I had always hoped that you would have children. Every mother dreams of that. But despite 25 years of fantasies of motherhood, this was really about as far as my fantasy got. Oh. I'm scared out of my mind. I kept thinking, I have to call her. Hello. Only to remember, she wasn't there. Lots of things happen in life, and changes are made. And we have to be able to adjust to it and, and roll with it. I definitely can't run. It's not gonna happen. I started doing the math. When she's 30, I'll be 80. So at this weight, I can't live to be 90 or 95, right? No. Mama. I'm like running out of time. What you need here, Jude, is... is serenity. Is serenity, right. That's a really good way to put it. We're celebrating life, actually. Would you get up? And dance. Next year, I promise I'll dance, okay? Okay. For you. Wow. Wow. This is like a personal rebirth. Woo! Cheers. It's like air rights in Manhattan. There's a lot of real estate up here.